Sorry, didn't mean to be here. Get him, Yaddy. Get him. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Friends and family. We are here to update today of our current situation with the full house here. The DRV. Yeah, that the thing. Kind of, I think the last video y'all got that of uh, the whole HGTV is HGT is on pause, but now we have some new developments. Take it away, babe. Take it away. <laughs> well, you saw in the last video we tore our roof, and that was the start of a not very good trip, very bad trip, whatever you want to say. It was not a great trip. So, anyways, we, we tore the roof. We just got the estimate in today to replace the roof. Um, so we'll see where that goes when we finally get it replaced. And <laughs> I think that there may be part of the front end where the pin box mounts may be broken. In fact, I could see two broken welds on it. They aren't like super critical structural welds, but the fact that they're broken kind of lends me to believe that maybe there's some other welds broken. Basically when it's sitting on the, on the hitch, you can see that the pin box sits at an angle and it's not because the trailer's nose high, it's the pin box sitting at an angle is flexing quite a bit. So we took some measurements today uh, we're trying to give information to Lippert to see if there's something that they can do to fix it. Uh, we're trying to figure out how much flex there is. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of overall deck flex. So when we say deck, that's the front part of the fifth wheel that sits over the truck. But the pin box that actually mounts it to the truck looks like it's flexing quite a bit. So I'm going to send that into Lippert and see if they'll, um, if they'll do anything about it. Uh, in the meantime, we're here in Florida. The weather is great, so it can't be all, all bad. We're pretty stationary. We're still trying to figure out the truck situation, what we're going to do with that. And we're still we're still tending towards that just because man, this is a great, this is a good fifth wheel yeah. floor plan. And we really like it. We put a lot of work into it. And we don't really want to throw it all away, especially with the RV prices being elevated as they are right now, especially with the coming... Um, probably higher gas prices so motorized coaches will probably go down in value so there's a whole bunch of considerations to to not wanting to make drastic changes at the moment other than changes that might reduce our cost um yeah so a lot of things up in the air we're trying to figure out over the next <laughs> month or two we've got our reservations here for two months um oh yeah May if, make it three yeah we might make it three months we'll see if you're going to the campgrounds in the pensacola area on the military base they made a policy change january 1st now you have to be out for 60 days and they count Blue Angel and Oak Grove as yeah. the same campground. So you can stay for three, for three months and then you gotta leave for 60 days. It used to be three months in one of them, two weeks in a different one and they didn't count them as one and then you could go back to your preferred campground. Yeah. But they decided that they wanted to be more uh, traveling and camping vice residential. So if you're gonna stay in this area, you get three months and then you got to go for two months yeah. and they count blue angel and oak grove as one we've only done that move once where we've gone from one campground to the other so it doesn't really affect us that much but some people live here some people work here and i'm sure there's a lot of a lot of, a lot of frustration with the yeah. policy change because in florida especially during the summer the campgrounds here get really expensive on a tune of like 100 bucks a night yeah so going from paying 22 to 26 a night to paying 100 bucks a night for that 60 days if you have to stay in the area that's got to be painful for these people i kind of feel sorry for them but i kind of see the the campground management's point of view as well because i've got friends that just camp here and they can never find a spot because it's always full yeah you got to work to find a spot in these campgrounds so yeah. Check the policies out. They're changing Navy-wide, I think, or at least region-wide, the Southeast region for the military campgrounds. You may want to check the policies of your campground before you start making trip plans because they are changing. Yep. What you think? That's pretty much it. This might be the shortest video in a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's not really a whole lot. Uh, if you continue watching, you'll see our efforts to measure our pin box flex with the truck in the yeah. way. It'd be way easier if there's a forklift to do yeah. this. Um, and um, you'll see the broken welds that we found. Um, there's one other update in this video is you pulled up the floor, the soft spot. Oh yeah, there's a spot, you know, we had rotten floors and we had them fixed. That's and what we had fixed in December. Yep, and there's another spot of the floor that's got a little give when you step on it, don't really care for it. I thought maybe it was wet as well. So I pulled down the, the, floor, the, the bottom of the RV. Yeah. 
and got up there, pulled the insulation down and looked at it and it wasn't wet. So there's a positive. At least that's not yes, brewing. Yes, that's a good news. Yeah. We forgot about it. I'm glad I thought about that. <laughs> when the hits start coming, they just keep on a coming. So we got some repairs to get through again, hopefully before we travel out west. And one of the reasons why, now, now the video is getting long. One of the reasons why we want to get all our repairs done <laughs> before we head out west is that all the services for these RVs tend to be in Indiana. And it's a much shorter drive to go from Florida to Indiana than it is to go from Montana or Colorado to Indiana. So we're trying to get this stuff wrapped up before we get on the other side of the country. Not that there's not RV services there, but the factories are all on this side of the country. Yep. And we prefer to go to the factory as much as possible because things are a little bit cheaper there, yeah. believe it or not, because all the parts are centrally located. In Indiana. Yep. There's no freight. And when you're shipping RV stuff, some of the parts are big and the freight gets expensive, more expensive than the part. And when you're at the dealer, there's no freight on your parts. So there's that. Yep. I'm, that's it for this video. It's a quick update all right stay tuned we'll show you our little efforts and yeah. show you the broken weld yep and the rest of the video yeah. so <laughs> yeah. It's running. Uh, we're trying to figure out how much pin box deflection we have and if we've got a broken frame. And I suspect that, well, I already know because of looking at the welds, there's some broken welds on the pin box. So the pin box looks like it's flexing up, but the actual upper deck doesn't really look like it's flexing that much. So maybe the damage is just in the pin box area. I don't know. I gotta try to get somebody to actually look at it. It's kind of difficult to do in the campground here with limited resources. The truck gets in the way of taking any measurements. It really needs to be on a forklift. And I don't have a forklift here. And I tried a bottle jack and a four by four. It's a good way to break your arm. Two, two, <laughs> thump, thump, two thumbs down. Two thumbs down for Candace. <laughs> with, I, I did implement some safety measures, but this is a good way to break your arm when things, yes. when things don't uh, go up straight when things start flexing. So, and I'm standing in a bunch of ants here because it's Florida, and that's what happens in Florida. When it warms so anyways, up in the winter. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put the blocks that I made out of the four x four under the front legs so that it's got better blocking, and then I'm gonna pull the truck back out. More to come. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all we hope you enjoyed the video you got an update with us if you care um i guess a lot of people do care and keep up with us right yeah, so <laughs> so um thanks for watching any advice suggestions comments questions drop them in the comment box um like this video comment on this video share this video hit the notification button to know when we drop our next video see y'all next time Bye.